No, not the food. Oh my god. Hey everyone, Henry Yellow here. Welcome back. Today we're going to be watching The Godfather. And as you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. Now, the only thing I'm missing is a bow tie. So right now, I'm going to learn how to tie a bow tie using a tie. I'll be right back. What do you guys think? <laughs> Probably doesn't look that good. Guess it's like huge for a bow tie. But I think it should work fine. Does it look a bit... Hmm. Alright, what do you guys think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> looks, looks like a comedy bow tie. You know what, let's just forget about it. I mean, it probably would work well, but... Uh, I feel like it gets in the way a little bit, so... Okay, how do I take this off? I mean, I think it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty well. It's just really big when you put it there and just doesn't align in the middle properly. It seems to be always at the side, I think. Maybe there's a better way, but uh, for now, let's not go with the bow tie. The Godfather is a crime mafia movie, and I remember watching another... A crime movie before I can't remember the name but it's actually based on a true story of a gangster he buried a lot of bodies under the bridge he started as a small town small time gangster and then grew into like a bigger mafia yeah I can't recall the name right now but for the Godfather I've never watched any of the Godfather series but I know it's a famous movie so I've chosen to watch it today now let's watch the Godfather Mario Puzo's The Godfather. I gave you freedom, but I thought they never to dishonor a family. He took her for a drive with another boyfriend. They tried to take advantage of her. They beat her like an animal. Hmm. Her job was a shot at help to get up by wire. Should always be careful out there. Now she will never be beautiful again. Always have friends with you that you can trust. A judge is sentenced them to three years in prison to suspend their sentence. They went free that very day. They smiled at me. Mm. We must go to Don Corleone. Don Corleone. Why didn't you come to me first? Do what I beg you to do. What is that? Kill them. Okay, thanks for the subtitles. What I cannot do? Oh. I can't remember the last time that. You invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. Oh, that cat is just so cute. Look at it. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. I didn't need a friend like you. <laughs> Do not ask for respect. Mm, he only looks for him when he needs something. I ask you for justice. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Maybe it's suffer then. Mm. She suffers. I guess murder and killing is a serious crime, so... He has to consider it. Bona Sera. Oh, it's his name. He'd come to me in friendship. This has come to me and your daughter would be suffering this very day. Be my friend. It's a bit too late now, isn't it? God, Father. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for you. He doesn't want money. He wants favors, which are much more priceless. I love reliable people, people that aren't going to be carried away. I mean, we're not murdering. Yeah, you want to run a crime organization, you got to be careful, huh? Not just wantonly murder everyone. Wow, that camera. I've never seen anyone use that camera before in real life. Michael. Obviously a family member. Now oh, look at a happy couple. Oh, are these police officers here to write a ticket? And I guess the police is already targeting him. So they're here to know who his friends are, who his connections are. That little silk purse. And if this was somebody else's wedding, sweet tonado. Hmm. 
Must be a thief. What's a prosecute? A biscuit? Oh, no pictures. Must be a high profile person. What? Was he practicing a speech to talk to Don Corleone? Hey, my sister's wet. God damn FBI don't respect nothing. FBI. Ooh. <laughs> Wait till you see the beautiful wedding cake I made for your mom. Like this. <laughs> no, people come to him for all their problems. Still busy working on his daughter's wedding day. Okay, so Michael's in the army. His name is Luca Brat Sr. He helps my father out sometimes. My brother Tom Hagen is oh. Kay Adams. Tom Hagen. How come their surnames are different? Why does he have a different name? He, yeah, that's what I just asked. And he had no home. Ah, uh, I see. I think he's going to be consigliere. What's that? Like a counselor, an advisor. Very important to the family. You like your lasagna? Mm, I could go for lasagna right now. <laughs> I wonder what they're talking about. Very lively wedding. I have no idea what he's saying. Can someone translate? Wait a minute, that's not his wife. Also some of the judges, they've all sent gifts. Oh, he's got a lot of connections. Oh, hmm, I assume he's a celebrity. He never told me you were giant Fontaine. Fontaine. Sure. My father helped him with his career. I have a good one. I offered him ten thousand dollars to let Johnny go, but the band leader said no. No. So a certified check of one thousand dollars. Wow, just a thousand dollars. Made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Luca Brazzi held a gun to his head that either his brains or his signature would be on the contract. Well, if you had to choose between your signature or your brains on the contract, then I guess everyone will choose a signature. How many sons does the Godfather have? There's Michael, who's in the army, Tom Hagen, who's adopted and is a lawyer, uh, Sonny. Uh, I'm not even sure who's the one getting married. My brother Fredo, this is KM. Okay, Fredo. Another person. This man out there, he won't give it to me. The head of the studio. This is the Waltz. Sonny? Uh oh, uh oh. The old man wants to see you. Hey, one minute. He isn't even gonna hide it, so I guess he's not the groom. Oh, very clear voice. Godfather, I don't know what to do. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Well, in a month from now, this Hollywood Big Shot's gonna give you what you want. Wow. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. We know what that means. Seems like he solves a lot of problems, making offers people can't refuse. Huh. Huh. Whoa, now that is a really tall cake. Now, your new son in law, give him something important. Never. Give him a living. We'll never discuss the family business. Oh yeah, it's his daughter. I got a little confused just now. I thought Sonny was the one getting married. I forgot it was the daughter. Wait, I know this song. Pretty sure this song was used in a cartoon before. I'm not sure if it was a Tom and Jerry cartoon or a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Oh, it's definitely a Tom and Jerry cartoon, now I remember. Would give his undying friendship to Mr. Waltz. Mr. Waltz would grant us a small favor. Johnny Fontaine will never get that movie. Now you have my number, I'll wait for your call. By the way, I admire your pictures very much. Okay, first approach, very subtle. Seems like it's not Waltz's first time handling someone like that. He knows his way around the industry. Why didn't you say you worked for Corleone, Tom? Oh, even he knows Corleone. Wow, it's got a really big and nice place. Six hundred thousand dollars on four horse. I'll bet Russian side never paid that kind of dough for a single horse. I have to move. 
Six hundred thousand dollars. Johnny's godfather. To the Italian people, that's a very religious, sacred, close relationship. Oh. I'm gonna run him out of the business. And let me tell you why. He has a grudge. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on her. I was gonna make her a big star. She was young. She was innocent. She was the greatest piece of ass I ever had. Okay. And she runs off. Now you get the hell out of here. Tell him I ain't no band leader. I heard that story. Thank you for the dinner and a very pleasant evening. Yeah, he treated him really well and then just suddenly yelled at him at the end. Mm, Waltz is a really decisive and tough guy himself. Oh, he's got an Oscar on the table. Just noticed that. Is that blood? How do you get so much blood on him? Oh no, it's someone. Oh no! They killed Khartoum! How the heck did they do that and put it under his bed? Dang, they must have some really hidden ninjas. Poor horse, he didn't do anything wrong. His business is narcotics. The Tathalia family is behind him here in New York. Santino, what do you think? A lot of money in that white mouth. Uh, we don't get into it, somebody else will. They can buy more police and political power. Hmm. Narcotics is a thing of the future. Ten years from now. I need a million dollars in cash. In cash? I need Don Corleone, those politicians that you carry in your pocket. In the first year, your rent should be three, four million dollars. So, I receive 30% for finance, political influence, and legal protection. Why do I deserve this generosity? I must say no to you. Mm. And I'll give you my reason. They wouldn't be friendly very long if they know my business was drugs. Drugs is a dirty business. Mm, he has a bottom line. Your business is uh, a little dangerous. I know it's final. I wish to congratulate you on your new business. Good luck to you. I respect that. He knows his risk and he has his bottom line. He's a good businessman. I would tell anybody outside the family what you're thinking again. What about Johnny starring in that new uh, film? Oh, Johnny got accepted into the film. I'm a little worried about this Salozzo fella. Go to the uh, Tatarians and uh, find out what you can. Hmm, sending a spy over there. Make sure he gets his ear on the ground. Know what's happening around. Ah, Christmas. My family and I actually don't celebrate Christmas at all. I mean, Christmas to us is just another day. Oh, andiamo means let's go, right? I remember that from Luca, the movie. He doesn't have bodyguards around, and he's a very high-profile person. Isn't he afraid of getting assassinated? Oh, this is Luca, not Don Corleone. Hmm, <laughs> they caught the bait. I'm so happy for these subtitles. Oh, they suspect him. Oh! Oh no, now he's not gonna survive. His hand is literally impaled. Ooh. They sure do things quickly. I wanna talk to you. I haven't got time. Oh, make time, consigliere. Hmm, so the Tataglia family is going against the Corleone family. Oh crap. Bruh, that was what, eight shots? Even if a bulletproof vest, he wouldn't survive that, I think. He definitely doesn't have a bulletproof vest. See, that's what I meant when I said, why doesn't he have bodyguards, you know? Dang it, the Tagla family is making a big move. Oh, his name is Vito, not Don. Is it bad, Mikey? I didn't Tom tell you I called. Mm. Come on, kid. I mean, even Tom isn't safe. I hope they have a panic room. Word is out on the street, he's already dead. Somehow, somehow. Take it easy. Where was Paulie? Paulie was out sick. Hello? Santino Corleone. Yeah. We have Tom Hagen. And don't lose that paper stamp review. Is that sunny? Your boss is dead. Yeah, we got him outside his office just about an hour after we picked him up. Sonny will come after you with everything he's got. That'll be his first reaction, sure. That's why you gotta talk some sense to me. Why didn't Salazzo try to approach the other families instead then? Instead of making war of the Corleones. It's good business, Tom. 
But even Sonny won't be able to call off Luca Brasi. Luca's dead. Oh, even the bulletproof vest couldn't save Luca. I don't like violence, Tom. I'm a businessman. Hmm, so you say. They hit him with five shots and he's still alive. Hmm, tough guy. Five shots and he's still alive. And all this happened just because Don wouldn't accept the deal with Salazzo. Luca sold out in a lot of trouble, please. Has anyone been able to get in touch with Luca? Oh man, they don't know Luca's dead. If we lose the old man, we lose our political contacts and half our strength. This is almost 1946. Nobody wants bloodshed in 1946. Paulie sold out the old man. I don't want to see him again. Understood. What the hell is this? It's a certain message. It says Luca's dead. He sleeps with the fishes. Sleeping with the fishes. He's thinking of going to the mattresses already. We gotta find a spot mm. over the west side. Hey, pull up. Why I got a Classic. Making him drive all the way to a remote area and then killing him. Yeah, thought so. But killing him in the car, that's very messy. Oh, they plan to leave the car. Okay. Why don't you tell that nice girl you love her? I love you with all of my heart. If I don't see you again soon, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Italian accent. <laughs> you fry some garlic. Then mm -hmm. you throw in some... Tomatoes, tomato paste, you shove in all your sausage and your meatballs. Oh, mm, I'm salivating already. Oh, if only I could smell that right now. Oh, Paulie won't see him no more. When will I see you again? Go back to New Hampshire and I'll call you at your parents' house. When will I see you again? I don't know. Safety first, K. Keep yourself safe. That's the best thing you can do for Michael right now. Wow, the hospital looks so empty. Mm, something's wrong. <laughs> Don't be so loud on your footsteps, yo. Is he still alive? There's literally no one in the hospital right what now. Are you doing Whoa, here? my God! You're Scared the heck out of me. Where the heck did the nurse come from? Police made them leave about ten minutes ago. Sonny, Michael, I'm at the hospital. Listen, I got here late. There's nobody here. The men are coming here to kill him. You understand? Now help me, please. Wow, we can actually fit through there. Thought the door was too small. It would be best if they can move him to a non-hospital room. For example, to move him into a closet or something. It would be much harder to find him. Who are you? I am Enzo. If there is trouble, I stay here to help you. For your father. Now, Michael should have stayed hidden. Enzo could be a double crosser. It's suspicious why Enzo would visit so late. Put your hand in your pocket like you have a gun. You'll be alright. Oh, thankfully he has a gun. Or maybe he doesn't. He's just pretending he has a gun. Oh yeah, the adrenaline is hitting. The police? What's the police doing here? Get out of here and stay away from this hospital! I'm not moving until you put some guides around my father's room. I see, the Tataglia family has got the police in their pocket. <coughs> These men are private detectives hired to protect Vito Corleone. If you interfere, you'll have to appear before the judge in the morning and show cause. Yeah. That's the importance of having a good lawyer. Hit Bruno to tell you four o'clock this morning. Jesus Christ. Whoa. A hundred bucks. Been on the street 24 hours a day. I guess they got a lot of money to hire them. You're beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> he wants us to send Michael to hear the proposition. Something we ought to hear what they have to say. No. 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 No more. You shot my father. Even the shooting of your father was business, not personal, Sonny. I found out about this Captain McCluskey who broke Mike's jaw. McCluskey has agreed to be the touch bodyguard. Nobody has ever gunned down a New York police captain, never. Take this into consideration. Gotta do your research. Let's set the meeting. We insist it's a public place. But if Clemenza can figure a way to have a weapon planted there for him, then I'll kill them both. Wow, Mike is getting serious. Now you want to gun down a police captain? Why, because he slapped you in the face a little bit? Huh? 
Mwah! You're taking us very close. Calm, this is business, and this man is taking it very, very close. <laughs> no, he's using the same words. I'm talking about a cop that's mixed up in drugs. We have newspaper people on a payroll, don't we, Tom? They might like a story like that. They might. It is mine. It's not personal. It's strictly business. Mm -hmm. Impossible to trace, so you don't worry about prints, Mike. Oh, the tape. We'll make sure he doesn't leave any prints. All right, you shot him both. Now what do you do? Run. Down, finish my dinner. <laughs> That's cold. I let the gun slip out. So walk out of the place real fast, but you don't run. Okay, let the gun slip out of his hand. We're on vacation, nobody knows where, and we're gonna catch the help. Man, I just realized I'm very hungry right now. I'm gonna get something to eat right after this movie. We could put a tail on him. Uh, it turns out. So lots of who's our ass going around the block. You just blast who's ever in the goddamn car. So lots of might not even be in the car, Sonny. Maybe you can keep the gun under the shoe? Looks very small. The gun, I mean. Louis' restaurant in the Bronx. They got an old-fashioned toilet. You know, the box and, and, and the, uh, the chain thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that. He asked for permission to go. And when you come back, you come out blessed. I want somebody good to plant that gun. I don't want my brother coming out of that toilet with just his dick in his hands, all right? Did he, uh, tell you to drop the gun right away? Yeah, a million times. What's the... The reason behind dropping the gun right away, so he doesn't get caught with the gun? I guess that makes sense. At least a year, right? A year. I got a message to that girlfriend when I think the time is right. Mm, he, he's sacrificing quite a lot to murder these two people. I hope we can straighten everything out. Imagine they change the location. I'm sorry about the other night, Mike. I guess I'm getting too old for my job. I'm too grouchy. He's green. Oh, they didn't check his hat. I mean, obviously they didn't put a gun there, but I didn't see them check his hat. You know, New Jersey? Maybe. I knew it. They're changing locations. Nice work, Lou. Hmm. To show off the people tailing them. Yeah, they're playing it really safe. I'm gonna speak Italian to Mike. Go ahead. I hope there are subtitles. Let us be out. She's saying, I'm not too bad. No, where are the subtitles? I'm searching for a translation right now. I'll put a translation when I'm editing it. What I want. Oh, okay. No more attempts on my father's life. All I want is a truce. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm first him. He's clean. Don't take too long. Okay, so right here, after he returns from the bathroom, he speaks Italian again. Mm hmm the gun is there. Okay. I got the translation ready to read. Let drop the gun. There we go. You did it. You killed them clean and fast. So the cops cracked down on all the families. Oh, I think this is actually real history. So many deaths, so much bloodshed. And for what? <laughs> Lifted him up like it like he weighs nothing. What's that lasagna? Looks good. What's the matter with you, Carl? Shut up, it's at the table. Who's Carlo? He's not afraid of to uh, to Las Vegas. I'm going to learn. Casino business. Michael. They gotta tell him. Michael kills a lot, so be safe. Starting to work. To bring him back. Oh, he feels sad that he had to bring Michael into this. War's costing us a lot of money. Nothing's coming in. We it's can't not. do business. Well, neither can they. Don't they worry don't about it. You just do what I tell you to do. God damn it, if I had a wartime consigliere as a senior, I wouldn't be in a shape. I didn't mean that. 
Papa never talked business at the table. And hey, shut up, Carmen. Hey, hey, don't you ever you. tell her to shut up. Don't interfere. Hmm. I could be doing a lot more for the family. We don't discuss business at the table. Oh, Carlo is the the um the Godfather's son-in-law. Yeah, that's a sacrifice he made. Oh, Corleone is a place. Okay, I did not know that. Mm, I have a bad feeling about this. I think someone's gonna assassinate Michael here. What's GI? Like GI Joe or something? Come on, man, you have K Adams. <laughs> He's just repeating the words. Is he practicing Italian or something? Obviously, it means that girl must not be provoked. Oh, okay. I meant no disrespect to you or your daughter. But then your daughter would lose a father instead of gaining a husband. Oh, he's really going for it. Whoa. Fortune favors the bold. He took the shot and he got it. I guess it's because he doesn't know when he'll ever be back, so he knew he wouldn't ever be able to meet Kay Adams again. The way he keeps wiping his face with that white cloth seems very familiar. Is this like setting the story for Godfather Part 2? Because I know there's a Part 2 and Part 3. Seems like Michael is starting to have that, that kind of temperament. And you know, that kind of aura that the leader of Mafia would have. Come on, we gotta go pick up my sister. Let's go. Alright, good. He's got bodyguards. Oh no, she got beaten up. By who? Carlo? Where is Sonny, please. It was my fault. Sonny, it was my fault. I even started a fight with him. Oh, Carlo's dead. Carlo's going to die. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make that baby an orphan before he's born. <laughs> oh, she's pregnant. Don't tell me Carlo married into the family just because he wants to be part of the family. I guess he don't plan to kill him. Just beat him up real bad. Oh. Man, getting hit by a trash can. My sister again, I'll kill you. Oh, these two guys are really loyal. They've been following him for so long. A wedding procession all the way to the house? Oh, I've never seen this kind of wedding before. They're serving some kind of food to all the guests. Well, seems like Mike Michael is starting a new life here and he's happy. But I still feel kind of bad for Kay Adams. Would you give this letter to Michael, please? Well, if I accepted that, in a court of law, they could prove that I have knowledge of his whereabouts. Tom is really careful. I didn't even realize that would have an implication if he accepted that letter. Who's this? You tell him that I can't make it tonight. Hmm. Carlos cheating. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't love her. Those are perfectly good plates. No, not the food. Oh my god. Oh nah man. You gotta call your brother. I didn't I never got her name, but seriously, you gotta call your brother. Just get out of there. Run out, run out. You remember the beginning of the Oh Connie, her name is Connie. You remember the beginning of the story? The Italian guy was sharing about his daughter being beaten up. Yeah, the same thing is happening to Don Carleone now. You just wait there. Son of a bitch! He's going there alone? Sonny, get out of here! 
Uh, Carlo wasn't dead before, but he's definitely gonna die now. Oh no, oh no, it's, it's an assassination. Crap. What, what about the guys behind him? Weren't there people following him? Behind? Oh, they really aren't taking any chances. Mm -mm, they're too late. Sonny's dead. Carlo might actually be in on it. I was about to come up and wake you just now and tell you. She needed a drink first. Yep. So you know it's bad news. They shot Sonny on the causeway. He's dead. <sighs> but Sonny didn't tell them that Connie called. So they don't even know about Connie. Went to the range meeting the heads of the five families. This war stops now. Call Bonacera. I need him now. Ah, Bonacera, yeah, the guy from the beginning. Uh, he will be at your funeral parlor in one hour. Be there to greet you. Oh, he brought Sonny's body here. I don't want his mother to see him. Oh, okay. Yep, he's riddled with holes. Look how they massacred my boy. Earlier they said that his enemies also know where Michael is. So they, they might come to kill Michael? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah, I know that too. Fabrizio, prepare la macchina. Are you driving yourself, boss? Yeah. Oh my god. Holy frick. Fabrizio double crossed him. But he killed Apollonia instead of killing Michael. Oh, you're supposed to kill Michael, but because... Because Apollonia went and started the car, so she activated the explosion. Oh, man. Oh, are those walnuts? Look good. A lot of things that we get so far were so unfortunate, so unnecessary. He had all the judges and politicians in his pocket. He refused to share them. Because I believe this drug business. He's going to destroy us and he used to go. And I believe that then. And I believe that now. Yeah, he's got his bottom line. I also don't believe in drugs. I don't want it near schools. I don't want it sold to children. Mm. Keep the traffic in the dark. People let them lose their souls. No, I don't agree with that last sentence, but I agree to keep drugs off the street. Traffic and drugs will be permitted, but controlled. Will he attempt any individual vendetta? Is vengeance gonna bring your son back to you? Or my boy to me? I forgot the vengeance of my son. The future belongs to the people who are still alive. I'm glad there's a peaceful result. But I didn't know until this day that it was Barzini all along. Which one is Barzini? The, the one sitting at the head of the table just now? So he was the one pulling the strings, and he was just using Tataglia. I thought you weren't going to become a man like your father. My father is no different than any other powerful man. You know how naive you sound. Senators and presidents don't have men killed. Who's being naive, Kay? What do you want from me after all this time? I want you to marry me. And I love you. Does he really... That's it, and he just, and she's just okay with it. Be patient. We gotta protect ourselves. I don't want to give Barzini an excuse to start fighting. Mike, you're wrong. Well, Mike was now head of the family. If he gives his permission, and you have my blessing. Oh, he's slowly passing down everything to Michael. You have faith in my judgment. Yes. Don't be a friend to Michael. Do as he says. Oh, he's like retired, completely retired now. Carlo, you grew up in Nevada. Carlo. I think I'll move there, you're gonna be my right hand man. What about his sister? Like, Carlo beat her up. How's Carlo still alive? Thank you, Papa. I'm happy for you, Carlo. Why am I out? I never thought you were bad, Consigliere. There are reasons why you must have no part of what is going to happen. 
Nevada. I really want to know if Carlo is treating his wife right. Hello, Mike. Welcome to Las Vegas. Ah, oh, uh, Fontaine. Fontaine? Johnny Fontaine. Get rid of him, Fredo. Oh, this is Fredo. He looks so different. Fredo, like, had a whole makeover. The Don's proud of you too, Johnny. Well, I, uh, owe it all to him. That's why he liked to ask a favor. Hmm, calling upon the favor now. Mo loves the business. You never said nothing to me about selling. Yeah, well, I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Hmm, the offer he can't refuse. The entertainment will be a big factor in drawing gamblers at the casino. True. I'll do anything for my godfather. You know that. Corleone family wants to buy you out. <laughs> I buy you out. You don't buy me out. First of all, you're all done. You think you can come to my hotel and take over? I talk to Bazzini. I can make a deal with him and still keep my hotel. I leave for New York tomorrow. <laughs> think about a price. Now you can talk to the Don. You can explain. Just a minute. Don is semi-retired and Mike is in charge of the family business now. Mike, you don't come to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Green like that. You don't talk to Mike like that. Don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Ever. I have to see my father and his people. So have been... Oh, he has a kid already. How long has it been? Let's see anyone move against you first. You'll set up a meeting with someone that you absolutely trust. You'll be assassinated. Oh. Your wife and children are happy with them. Very happy. My family is important. I spend my life trying not to be careless. I did it already, Pop. Oh, Pop, anyone. I took care of that. Oh, that's right. I told you I can handle it. I'll handle it. I never wanted this for you. I don't apologize, that's my life, but I thought that you would be the one to hold the strings. Hmm. Governor Corleone, something. I'm not a person I want. This was enough time, Michael. Was enough time. Whoever comes to you with this Barzini meeting is a traitor. Imagine if it's Fredo. Are you gonna kill your own older brother? Yeah, sure it's useful having his father as a consigliere advisor. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you got scared. <laughs> Having fun of his grandchildren. Isn't that the life that all grandparents want? Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Oh, no. Call your parents, little buddy. Buddy, buddy, call your parents. Your grandpa's had a heart attack. Oh, no, he doesn't know. Quick. Oh no, he... He passed away. Playing with his grandson. Right, it's this guy, isn't it? He's Barzini. Barzini wants to arrange a meeting. He oh. says we can straighten any of our problems out. So you're the traitor. On my territory. He already warned him. So he knows what to look out for. Now he knows who the traitor is. You know how they're gonna come at you? He knows. Or I'll be safe. But you know you won't. It's the smart move. Tessie was always smarter. Then I'll meet with Don Budzi. All the heads of the five families. Police badge. Oh, something's happening. Oh, Michael's gonna make the first move. Yep, I think he's gonna make the first move. He's gonna assassinate Barzini. Do you renounce Satan? Wait, who is Clemenza killing? Oh, this is Mo Green. I couldn't tell without his glasses. Oh. Wow, that's accurate shot. Oh, I think these are the heads of the five families. Wait, he didn't even shoot Barzini. Okay, there. Now he shot him. Down the stairs. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Wow, he killed the heads of all the five families. Very, very bold move. He sent all those heads of families to sleep together with his father. Go back to the house, wait for my call. <laughs> He knows. Help Michael was only business. Michael's cutting off all the loose ends. So it was Carlo. Santino, Carlo. I knew it. Carlo was involved. I knew a farce you played with my sister. You think that could fool the Carleon? Barzini's dead. 
Today I settle all family business, so don't tell me you're innocent, Carl. Yep, cutting off all loose ends. Ruthless. And decisive. Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? Oh yeah, I think you should. If you're out of the family business, that's your punishment. That's a bit light, isn't it? I'm putting you on a plane to Vegas. That's what they do. He's gonna make Carlo let his guard down, then kill Carlo. Now who approached you? Now he confirms it. Car waiting for you outside. Take it to the airport. Carlo is not getting on that flight. Just wonder how they're gonna kill him. Strangle him? Shoot him? Car explosion? Strangle. Okay. Oh, that windshield is brittle. Dead man don't tell tales and dead man can't betray you. Ah, oh, they sold the whole land and actually moved elsewhere. After all that, Connie still loves Carlo. Carlo beat you up, you know? You killed my husband. You blamed him for Sonny. You always did. Everybody did. I don't know how many men he had killed with Carlo. We had to pay No! 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 She's a star. Michael, is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No! Hey. This one time when you asked me about my affairs. He lies with a straight face. He needs that in this industry. Okay, you can't handle the truth. And Michael knows that. He knows you can't handle it, that's why he had to lie to you. Don Carleone. Wow. Didn't realize I've been sitting here for 3 hours. Wow. This is a very good movie. It kept me riveted just the whole way. Even though there are many parts where there aren't like actions or you know stuff like that but it just keeps me at the edge of my seat. You know like makes me want to know what, what's gonna happen next like you know or stuff like that. It's a good movie. I liked it. And so it makes me wonder if the Godfather Part 1 was already this good. Can Part 2 and Part 3 really top this movie? I'm not going to watch Part 2 and Part 3 right away, but I'd like to hear your thoughts about it. Among Part 1, 2, 3, is Part 1 the best? Did you know Part 2 and Part 3 really live up to Part 1? Let me know in the comments. The acting is really good. You know, like how they... Uh, have that temperament, how they acted out that feeling of confidence. I respect Vito Corleone's character. He is, you know, always very calm and confident, and he knows his bottom line. He knows he's not gonna get into drugs, he knows the risks involved, and he's willing to say no. Even though he could have earned a lot of money, it could be like a thing of the future or whatever, but to him, he has his bottom line and he sticks with it. And I respect that. And then there's Michael. He was a hero, a war hero. You know, he's in the army, I assume. And he was that... Uh, I guess you'll call innocent. As in he doesn't get his hands dirty in that way. But in the end, he became the one who inherited Vito's legacy. You know, inherited the family business. I didn't see that coming, but... I think he was the most suitable successor compared to uh, Sunny or Tom or Fredo. Doing this business, this industry, the industry there in the mafia industry itself is a huge risk. As you can see, there's a lot of bloodshed, a lot of people died. Even Apol Apolline or Apolino, I can't remember her name clearly, Apolline died. So the Dons always have to watch their back, you know, always have to have bodyguards around and be very careful but no matter how careful you are you can't look over your shoulder forever you can do it for a while six months one year three years five years eight years but can you do it for 20 30 40 years no i think the only person who had a uh, some sort of a peaceful death in this entire movie is vito carleone himself yeah this is a. Uh, to me this is a great crime movie absolutely amazing not in the action sense but really kept me 
you know, watching the movie all the way for the whole three hours. I didn't even realize time passed by so fast. That's how I determine if a movie is really good or not. I, I just don't know how much time has passed. And by the time I know it, the movie has ended and I've been sitting here for three hours. Now it's time for me to go have my dinner. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.